Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, we are looking at solving uh, flow fields using differential equations and uh, in previous classes we were looking at a particular way uh, in doing them using the velocity potential equation. Uh, we introduced uh, a small perturbation and this was applicable for small changes, uh, slend very thin bodies in subsonic and supersonic flows. We looked at Prandtl Glorit's rule and also in supersonic flows uh, we found that uh, Cp depends only on uh, the inclination of the surface. Uh, so, that was a particular approach. Uh, now, if you really want to solve the flow fields, it is uh, mm, involved uh, and it is not very uh, easy to do it uh, analytically. Uh, but in supersonic flows because of their hyperbolic nature and uh, they have the characteristic that uh, information propagates in certain directions which are known as the characteristic uh, lines. We can use uh, the method of characteristics uh, which is used uh, typically in any hyperbolic uh, equation. It is a method to solve hyperbolic partial differential equations. In short, it is also called as MOC, so method of uh, characteristics. So, we look at how to solve these uh, uh, equations in the context of uh, supersonic flows only. Uh, and uh, this is the general uh, velocity perturbation equation, which is exact and uh, three dimensional. And we, if you take it in the context of two dimensional cases, uh, we have already discussed this particular equation. Uh, which is uh, exact equation for two dimensional case uh, inviscid irrotational uh, compressible flow. And uh, we also had discussed that when m is greater than 1 the um, flow is hyperbolic right. So, now let us look at uh, this uh, hyperbolic uh, equations partial differential equations and uh, uh, method of characteristics. We have been coming across this at various times in the due course uh, of this particular uh, lectures of these lectures. We encountered it uh, very early on uh, when we were looking at unsteady flows. Uh, you found there are particular lines across which uh, the solution propagates which is u plus a and u minus a uh, for isentropic uh, flow. Uh, that was the unsteady case. Now, we are discussing steady do two dimensional case even here uh, in the case of the steady two dimensional case if it is um, a supersonic flow uh, then the flow is hyperbolic. Uh, here also it goes uh, along particular lines. Uh, now, what is the method to get these uh, lines? We are looking at how do we get these characteristic lines. Uh, so, uh, always it is useful to go and look at some simple equation try to understand how it works and then uh, further extend it to more complex situations that uh, we are facing. So, take a simple 1D uh, PD which is hyperbolic dou u by dou t plus c dou u by dou x where c is a constant uh, is uh, given an initial um, value which is u 0 which is a function of x. Uh, if you take the total derivative du, then if it is and here uh, the u is a function of x and t only. So, it can be written as dou u by dou t d, uh, dt plus dou u by dou x dx. And by simple observation, we can find that if you take the lines dx by dt equal to c, uh, then uh, you can convert uh, the equation, this particular equation into an ODE which is du by dt equal to 0. So, this particular equation dx by dt equal to c which is also a ordinary differential equation uh, 
uh, is uh, known as the characteristic equation and uh, uh, the consequence of which with the P d turns into an O d d u by d t equal to 0. Uh, this equation is known as the compatibility condition. So, now this particular partial differential equation with the initial condition gets transformed into two ordinary differential equations and it is easy to solve ordinary differential equations. And in this case it is uh, quite simple you just uh, find that u is constant along the lines uh, x minus c t. So, if uh, you take the lines x minus c t uh, u is constant along those lines. So, the solution just uh, propagates along those uh, particular lines. Now, even if we go to a more uh, general case where you have uh, A and B and C which are uh, uh, more general. Uh, so, uh, the this is a linear equation of course. So, uh, A, B and uh, C um, are uh, consistent with the definition of the equation being uh, linear. Uh, so, then you find that uh, the characteristic equation here is dx by dt is equal to B by A and the compatibility condition is uh, du by dt is c by a. You just have to divide by a to get to this forms. Now, these two conditions written together in a matrix form uh, gives you these uh, two equations. So, gives you this particular uh, matrix. Okay. So, a dou u by dou t plus b dou u by dou x equal to c which is the uh, partial differential equation itself and du uh, dou u by dou t d t plus uh, dou u by dou x d x equal to uh, d u. This is the total definition of the uh, total derivative. From this if we were to evaluate what is dou u by dou x or uh, the gradient uh, partial derivative dou u by dou x um, along the uh, characteristic lines okay, along the characteristic lines. We are uh, interested in trying to find this out. Uh, so, uh, you can solve this is by using uh, Kramer's rule and uh, we know that uh, we are looking at characteristic lines. So, we get this uh, condition uh, the bottom is the determinant. So, a d x minus b d t uh, which is 0 uh, along a characteristic line. Similarly, if you take the numerator which is a d u minus c d t uh, that is uh, nothing but the compatibility condition that is n numerator is also 0. So, you find that along characteristic lines uh, this uh, uh, gradient is uh, indeterminate. Okay. So, this gives us a method uh, this uh, uh, trying to find the numerator and the denominator of a gradient and then uh, equating them to be in the 0 by 0 form. This gives us a method to get uh, characteristic lines in, in general. So, we go ahead and apply this you can uh, for here example here uh, it is applied for the wave equation itself dou square u by dou t square minus c square dou square u by dou x square equal to 0. Mm, you can follow uh, uh, these steps it is written as a system of uh, equations and um, using the system of equations uh, you find out a set that a determinant is equal to 0 or that also is the denominator and uh, if you set determinant equal to 0 you get two uh, characteristics which is x minus c t and x plus c t. So, uh, this method if you follow the uh, method you also get correct characteristics for the wave equation. Okay. So, uh, in a general wave equation also you will get it. So, we can apply the same principles uh, for uh, the velocity potential equation in supersonic uh, domain. Uh, before we go there uh, we also have to in this, uh, understand uh, that if you take any particular point in such a general hyperbolic flow uh, or a hy hyperbolic uh, uh, situation hyperbolic equation uh, then uh, the particular point solution at that particular point is um, influenced by all the regions which are bound by 
uh, the two characteristics we saw the wave equation has two characteristics you can call them c plus and c minus left running and right running waves. Uh, so, there are two um, characteristics. So, uh, if the, the region that is bounded by uh, the two characteristics is the region which influences a particular uh, point in the domain in the entire uh, solution domain. Uh, so, that uh, region is known as the domain of dependence that is this particular point is dependent on um, the initial values or initial values that are within bound by the two characteristics which passes through that particular point. Uh, similarly, if you uh, go ahead and uh, uh, push these characteristics out into the other regions of um, the uh, flow. So, these characteristics originate from x comma t and then look further in both x and t directions. Um, then this particular point influences uh, all other points uh, after the particular point um, or ahead of the particular point only along uh, certain directions which are bound by the uh, again the characteristic curve. So, this is the range of influence for this particular point. If you take any other uh, uh, domain region which is away which is not bound by the uh, characteristic curves uh, they are not uh, influenced or those points are not uh, influencing that particular point. So, they are known as zones of silence. Uh, this is true for uh, supersonic uh, cases where we have seen that a body in uh, supersonic flow. So, something of this nature it affects the flow only along Mach waves. So, if unless this Mach wave passes over a point uh, for example, a point over here is not uh, influenced at all. Uh, by uh, a body over here moving at supersonic speeds if m infinity is greater than 1. Then uh, this point is not influenced by such a body while the other point which is lying after the um, uh, uh, the or which has been influenced by the characteristics or Mach waves uh, there uh, you get the influence of them. Okay. So, uh, this is what is known as domain of dependence and range of influence. So, uh, how to go ahead now we know that there are these uh, characteristics and we can use to solve them. Uh, how do we solve them across each uh, along each characteristic there is a compatibility condition. So, you have two things one is a characteristic equation the other one is a compatibility condition you can use two of them together to solve both uh, uh, the flow field as well as what is known as a characteristic net. Uh, okay, character. So, you draw characteristics from one particular point and then you can progress. So, you can progress in um, forward direction starting from an initial value. So, this uh, kind of an approach is known as forward marching while uh, you can also have a case where you can take an arbitrary point and try to draw the characteristics um, back towards the initial position. This uh, kind of uh, solution is inverse marching. It is difficult to do inverse marching if the characteristics keep changing in both x and uh, as both x and t which is the general case. Um, if it is constant then yes uh, it is very easy to do it. Uh, but it is not always the case. So, generally forward marching scheme is applied where from the initial values you progress up. So, uh, now let us come for the to the, take the specific case of the steady uh, supersonic flow. Uh, this is the velocity per, uh, potential equation uh, e written here right and uh, you can also take uh, what is d u and uh, dv. Uh, these are the equations for do, uh, du and dv. Uh, they are functions of only x and y. So, you know that u is uh, dou phi by dou x 
and V is dou phi by dou y. Uh, so, uh, now uh, d u is dou u by dou x d x plus dou u by dou y d y. This is uh, dou square phi by dou x square d x plus dou square phi by dou x dou y d y which is what is written here. So, you have these three equations we can put them into matrix form and find uh, the n by d uh, for say phi x y. Okay. So, for phi x y a gradient we find n by d and uh, the idea is to put d equal to 0 uh, then you get characteristic equations and if you put n equal to 0 you get uh, the compatibility condition compatibility condition is arrived at. So, that is what is done here. So, you take uh, the uh, denominator put it equal to 0 uh, you get uh, this particular form divide the entire equation by d x. So, this becomes a quadratic equation in d y by d x which is uh, the slope of the characteristic equation or the characteristic lines uh, that can be solved. Uh, this is just the solution of a quadratic equation and you get it in terms of u and v. Okay. So, now uh, this uh, uh, dy by dx is solved in terms of u, v and a square. Is there a way to convert them into more useful form which can yield us something um, uh, quicker? So, uh, yes we can uh, do it uh, by uh, uh, taking uh, converting it into uh, polar uh, coordinates. It is where u is uh, general vector, uh, v is the vector for um, or v has uh, magnitude of v vector is v and uh, u is v, co u co v cos theta and v is v sin theta. Uh, so, we apply this uh, uh, converting it into polar coordinates then uh, what we get is that uh, we are able to get in terms of cos theta sin theta and v square by a square. v square by a square is nothing but m square okay. and uh, also we know that 1 by m square is nothing but uh, sin square uh, nu okay, sin square nu where nu is the uh, Mach angle. So, we can use those definitions of Mach angle together with uh, these equations and uh, if you combine all of them together and do some algebraic manipulation you get that the characteristic equations are defined by um, tan of uh, theta minus, uh, minus or plus nu that is uh, the C minus characteristics. Uh, one set of characteristics is tan of theta minus nu. The other set which is known as C plus characteristics is uh, tan of theta plus nu. So, if you have a general uh, velocity vector v having a certain angle uh, theta there are two uh, waves each of them at an angle nu with respect to that point. So, the solution propagates along uh, Mach waves. So, this is something we already know and therefore, the characteristics are located at theta plus nu and uh, theta minus uh, nu. Okay. Uh, now, what happens to compatibility condition? We can set numerator equal to 0. Uh, and along the particular direction dy by dx where dy by dx is the characteristic curve we already know what is dy by dx for the characteristic curve. We can solve uh, for this equation what is dv by du put uh, um, uh, u is v cos theta and v is uh, v sin theta then what we get uh, is that uh, d theta is equal to plus or minus square root of m square minus 1 dv by v. This particular form should be familiar to uh, all of you by now square root of m square minus 1 dv by v is nothing but d nu where nu is the Prandtl-Mayer 
uh, function. So, you get d theta is equal to plus or minus d nu. So, if you integrate it uh, you just get uh, the condition. So, if you take the uh, particular slope uh, c minus uh, so um, that is tan theta minus nu. So, if you look at uh, this uh, this is a general vector Okay, so, in the flow field it is uh, at any point x comma y having a Mach number uh, pressure and temperature. Okay, so, and this is the velocity vector and uh, with respect to this velocity vector there are two characteristics one goes both of them go at uh, angles nu. Uh, so, uh, let me just revisit the yeah. So, that nu has to be with respect to the velocity vector. So, uh, it is nu. So, you get um, theta plus nu here uh, with respect to the horizontal theta plus nu and with respect to horizontal this angle is theta minus nu. So, this is C minus characteristics which is colored in green and the one that is colored in red is C plus characteristic. Along C minus characteristic uh, the compatibility condition is given by K minus uh, the k minus is theta plus uh, mu that uh, nu uh, that is the Prandtl-Meier function at that Mach number. Similarly, you can take uh, c plus characteristics which is theta plus mu uh, and along them theta minus nu is constant. So, uh, this is k plus which is theta minus nu and this is k minus this is theta plus nu. Uh, this is a uh, constant along those uh, directions. So, this gives the uh, so for the case of a supersonic 2 D flow uh, we can get the uh, complete integration for of course, uh, for perfect gases um, in closed form uh, solutions and this gives us now simple equations. So, now we have converted a uh, rather uh, daunting looking uh, velocity uh, potential equation uh, to now they have been converted to a set of algebraic equations. Of course, they are in in terms of angles and uh, tans and so on. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that can be solved it is not uh, difficult to solve this. So, it uh, so the flow field in the supersonic flow uh, 2D supersonic flow can be solved using this set which we will do in the coming uh, classes um, for specific cases. Uh, there we follow certain uh, uh, methods known as the unit processes and we look at uh, supersonic nozzles how they can be uh, the contour of the wall how they can be designed um, based on method of characteristics in the next class. Thank you.